Hello and welcome to Acrylic Code. Today we have a new tutorial on how to create this animation on Touch Designer. Let's start from scratch. Once we have our empty Touch Designer project, let's split the screen, turn on the top viewer and deactivate the backdrop tops. Create an out top to begin with and turn on the render flag. Next, we're going to instance a SOP. Let's open the palette, go to generators and drag and drop super formula. Right click on super formula to attach a null. Right click on the null to attach a geometry. And lastly, right click and while holding shift, select the camera and the lights. Add a render top and connect it to the out. Now we have a render on the screen. We're getting an error here and uh, what it basically says is we have to add a texture sop. So let's go ahead and right click here after the super formula, go to sops and add the texture. For the next step let's right click down here, go to the material and add a fong material. Drag and drop it to the geo and select parameter material. Okay, now uh, let's create two noises and connect them to each other. This changes the pattern of the second noise like this. Uh, select both noises, go to common and in the parameter box change the resolution to 1280 by 1280. Right click on the second noise to create a null. Drag and drop the null to the Fong material and select parameter color map. Now we see that the shape we created has the texture of the noise. If we go back to the first noise we can play with the parameters here like the period and the harmonics until we are satisfied with the results. Now the animation is just missing some color. To change that, let's add here a lookup and right click in the second input of the lookup to add a ramp. Once we have that, we can select the color we like. Let's change the background color next and add a transform before the out and in the parameter window set the alpha to 1 and turn on comp over background color. There we go. What I think it will look nice is if we put some blur around the animation. So press tab to create a circle first and in the parameter window let's change the softness and the border offset to... I, I just put these values now but I'll probably change them later to best fit the animation. Create a composite here and connect both the render and the circle to it. In the parameter window go to transform and set the fixed layer to input 1. Go back to composite and set the operation to multiply. Connect the comp to the out. Now we don't see any changes because the circle we created is probably too big. So let's go back to the circle and I'll change um, the softness and offset values to see if this changes something. We can also decrease the radius in the x and y direction so that the ed edges don't appear. Now that we have the shape, let's decide on um, the animation. If we go back to the super formula, I would like to experiment with um, AO2 values. We could actually change also all the other values, but I'm going to leave that for you to try out yourself when you recreate the animation. So let's click on the AO2 and type in the expression appsTime.seconds and multiply it with a higher number to get the animation moving faster. I went with 20. Maybe we can also animate the noise, so in the parameter window go to transform and let's write down the on the translate z the expression abs time that seconds times 0 0.05. So the movement is smooth. So now we have both parameters being animated and we're going to leave it like this for this tutorial, but you can play around and try all sorts of values. I hope 
you enjoyed this tutorial and you got some inspiration to make your own animation. If you have any suggestions or questions, please write them in the comments and I will see you on the next video. Bye! Thank you.